Hey guys, so today I have a little mod. Um, it's not really a mod, it's just kind of a thing that's been bothering me. So, I have these vents on my hood, and you can see the inside, but there's no, um, there's nothing blocking them. Well, this stupid tree right here, as you can see, gets all these little, like, specks of, like, I don't know what it is, like, leaves and seeds, and I don't know. But it always gets inside my engine. And it makes my engine bay filthy. Like, let me show y'all. As y'all can see, it's just filthy. Like, look at that. And I mean, of course, it's gonna get dirty because of the vents. But one thing that gets on my nerves is all this. Look at all that. All that crap. All this crap in here. Look at that. There's like leaves in there. Like, and look, the vents are right on top of it. This is dirty. Look at all that. It looks like a grime in there. Like, oh, I need to get a vacuum or something. But I hate having all the, like, see? Wet leaves in here. Like, so. This hood has little spots. Like little, I guess, like little prongs that you can put, like, a vent or something there to block it. And we will see. I have some mesh laying around to see if it actually fits or not so i was looking around in my garage and i found some of this stuff so i'm gonna see if these like pieces will work some of it it might work might not work i'm not sure okay so i have one of these pieces right here and goes right there it looks like i can cut this and fit it there and maybe use this for two pieces maybe. We'll see. All right guys, found the marks. I marked it right here, I don't know if I see that black line. And I'm gonna cut it with these metal sears I have and we're gonna test fit it. Okay, got a little vent, let's see how it works. There we go guys, it's not all the way in. Um, it has these little tabs that hold it. I'm gonna have to bend those. Uh, I probably have to, tr oh no, it'd fit. It'd fit behind the fiberglass. But it's on there, and that's how it would look. And I think that looks a lot better than just being open. So I'm gonna cut two more. All right, got three of them on there. So let's see. What do y'all think? Vents or no vents? Or I'm sorry, I should be. <laughs> what do y'all think? Mesh or no mesh? All right, guys, now I measure to this side and start cutting it right here and we'll see how it works. All right, that side's in. This side's right here. Not bad, guys. Yeah, so you can see side by side now. Mesh, no mesh. So, guys, I ran into a little problem. So... This mesh has a certain pattern. As you can see, it's like this. I have all these the same. See, this is one of the leftover pieces I had. It's too small to go on there. Like, it would be a gap, as y'all can see. I can have it on there, but it's just too small. I might can make it work, but I'm not sure. But I want to try something. So, and the reason I'm saying it's not working, so here's the pattern. This is like... Like that. The other pattern I have is like sideways, see? It looks like this. And I can't do it like that because then the pattern's off. But I wonder if I can get it and cut it enough. And then I can, um, I found some extra wire laying around I had. Strip it back and it's just the same color wire. I wonder if I can put them side by side and see how that works. So let me try that real quick. So here's the wire I have. It's green right now, it's the outside, but once I get inside, it's that. So if I strip it out, I wonder, I'm gonna measure this, make it a little bit wider. So it was almost this size, it's a little bit more. Cut off a little extra right here. Little 
wider. Try that again. We get this piece and match it with this one. So we can have identical pieces. We have two pieces. I'm gonna try to put them together and we're gonna see how it works and see if it works. There we go guys, put it together. Two pieces, cause it wasn't directional. So I made it directional. Not bad, kinda like stitches, metal stitches. I'm gonna paint it black and you can't see it, and it'll work. All right guys, we're gonna paint this. Ignore the pizza box. I just don't wanna spray on the concrete. All right, guys, we just painted it. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then spray it again because it's kind of not perfect, but I'm gonna spray it again and then get a couple more coats and then put it back on. All right, guys, so it's all painted. I'm gonna let it set in the sun right now and just let it dry up before we put it on. All right, guys, they're all painted up. Let's put them on the car now. All right guys, so we have the things in. Now all we gotta do is just push it in and close these little tabs right here. And once I get those done, I'll show y'all. See this little tab right here? I just fold it in, fold this one in, and it pretty much holds that mesh there. So let me get these done and then we'll put the hood down and see how it looks. All right, all the mesh is in. Put it down. There we go guys, the mesh is in now, so. I don't think it looks bad. I got some more parts for the Camaro. Um, so, usually we're doing like wide body or modifying spacers crap but i've been wanting to do something that's just kind of like a little dress up and they all just got here so got this this and i got one more thing and i'll show y'all so let's let's open this up and let's see what it is green is really nice so i'm gonna clean it up a little bit Super, super, super shiny. So that's one piece. This is all, guys, this is all billet aluminum. So I got these two right here. And the final piece. So, this is the, the new one I got. My old one, let me show y'all what the old one looks like. This is the old one, this is the new one, guys. Way more defined. It has the metal on the siding right here, the metal plates, it has the chrome overlay, chrome V8 lay, and I'm not sure when I bought, the, bought it from the guy, I don't know if he just put this on there or it came with this, I don't know, but super nice. And then with that, with that cap, I think they look really good. So. Now we have the, the vents in for the hood. Um, hopefully we don't get the engine bay, all this chrome stuff, super, super dirty. It's still gonna get dirty, guys, just cause it's still vents, you know what I mean? So rain, dirt, will get in still, of course. But at least there won't be like leaves and debris and all that, you know what I mean? So let's clean that engine bay next. Wouldn't be a good video without... Shout out to my mom for bringing me some iced coffee. Thank you, mom. YouTube logo from Jay-Z. Thank you, Jay-Z, you killed it. Oh man, I need to clean this car out. Let's see. Take the 
the hood pins off. Yep, those have been working. Been keeping the leaves from coming in. But now look how dusty and dirty. Oh, look how nasty that looks. But all right, let's get some degreaser in here, guys. Spray some degreaser in here, wipe it up. All right, here's some degreaser. I'm gonna just spray everything, guys. Let me just make sure it's sealed up. I don't want the degreaser going there. Alright, and we're just gonna let that sit guys, let that kind of soak in all that dirt. Now I'm gonna go find me some microfiber towels and we'll wipe all this crap up. Yeah, we're not gonna get it perfectly clean, guys, because I'm not a detailer at all. But we'll get mostly the main, like, we'll just get it shiny, you know. Pretty much wipe up all that dirt. See all this right here? Clean all this out. All right, that looks way better. Not as dusty and crappy looking. So if y'all wondering what this goes to, goes right here one day I opened up my hood to go put fluid in here and it was gone and I could have got a regular one but I was like why not get something a little bit nicer than that so let's see how that fits so this little ring right here little this is from the old piece that I guess broke off I'm gonna try to pop this off because it's not one to sit on there so let's take that off real quick guys there you go. Yeah, see where it broke off right there, guys? So, out with the old, in with the new. There we go, guys. I just had to move my intake box a little bit, but it sits right in there. Looks really good. Wipe it off. Super shiny. All right, let's get that engine cover on now, guys. Here's the new engine cover. It's the engine cover right there that and this uh, old cap I just put that on there right now guys because it's just really windy and I don't want any debris to get in there but let's go get that um new cap and this already looks good like little chrome accessories to it but now it's the final piece all right in with the new Wow, these engine accessories just, man, they make, make it pop. So now, let's get some detailer in here and just kind of shine everything up. Because this is still like, I mean, it's dirty, I gotta clean up that right there. But um, let's just make it shine a little bit more. All right, guys, I'm not an engine detailer. I'm not a car detailer, so it's not gonna look 100% perfect. But we're just gonna clean it up as much as possible that I can do. We need some quick detailer.
there you go guys just a little dress up kit it looks better than just you know having a plain old one I like it I really like it and it needed to be wiped up in here anyway so it looks a lot cleaner now guys and there you go guys that's it all wiped up cleaned up not 100% clean guys I'm not an engine detailer but this pops out a lot more guys but I just want to say thank you guys for watching I hope you guys like this um, and just stay tuned guys thank you for watching